Uh, welcome to today's tutorial on structured data and inserting it into your website so that Google uh, picks up certain tags that you may otherwise be missing out on and to make your website more relevant for for local and for national searches. So let's look at the tool which Google uses. It's called it's called the structured data testing tool. Now more or less if I start with a good website which has it all now, this is a company here, Small Business Web Designs. If I plug that into the tool and I say fetch data and it will come up in a moment and you can see what we should be looking at. Uh, it's taking a while, but that is perfectly normal. Um, okay. No, it doesn't take this long. I'll just pause it till it's it's finished. Right, so the results have come here, and we've got something called a web page, the organization, a website, and a product. So, like we'll explore those later. But if you see some ones I've previously done, we've got a website called JBI. Uh, that's a London, England uh, based developer. They also have a web page and organization. And they have some WordPress stuff and uh, some also some things on their blog which they've coded and a few errors there. And if we compare that to Gravitate, which is the uh, New York agency, as I said, you've got two there. And then if we go to something like random, which is a plumbing company from New York, uh, Fred Smith Plumbing, we just run that through the through the thing we have nothing so more or less what you want to is make sure you're as relevant as possible and to be able to do that you need to be free of any errors like uh, that one so we'll, see, we'll see, you certainly don't want those but you just want some simple tools to uh, some simple uh, some simple code to put in to make your website relevant right so what we'll do is we'll just take it through this one this is actually our one so what we have here is we have something called a web page. We put some code into our Weebly site, but you can use this code on any platform. And it basically describes you as so that's what your that, that's what your company is. You've got something called the organization uh, structured uh, structured data, and that is explaining you know the URL, the address. Uh, the phone number and the country and then you've got something called the you've got something called the website and that gives you the name of it plus the alternative name then you've got something called product now that's where you can say what your rating is now sometimes Google will show these things like five stars you know if you type something in it will say like 4.5 stars or something so you can actually add that in there um, for us you know it comes up anyway but it's just we've just pro uh, programmed it in there obviously the review count will change and that will change but for now uh, that's what we've added in probably most focus should be placed on the web page and the organization and the website so what I've done is I have uh, four bits of code and this is in the same order so we've got so we've got the web page code we've got the we've got the website name code we've got the product services and we've we've got the address and the phone number for the organization so that's more or less in the same almost in the same order as this and then if we go to our Weebly site uh, which is you know in the editing mode um, so this is very straightforward so what we do is we try and we try and make it as kind of user-friendly as possible by inserting this code uh, but it's but it does need to show. So what we do is we have our code here, and that's it. That's it there, and that's it there. Now the rest of it's invisible. Um, but if I just walk you through how we like, put it together, so the first piece is going to be is going to be the organizational code. We click on that. So the organization code. If we click on that, it's going to take us to this part here. Uh, now this is this is the code, if I just move in, this is the code here that we need to place. 
I'll put that obviously on the blog so anyone can copy it and change it to their business. Um, that's very that's very straightforward. So basically, um, what you do, you click on editing mode, and you so you paste it in there. So that's exactly the same code, and you can adjust that uh, to suit. And um, you try and edit it sort of outside of the Weebly and then just paste it in. And then the second piece, so that'll show up the organization. And the second piece is the description, which is also called, uh, excuse me, the, it's called the web page. And that code straight into, straight into there. So no problem with that one right so the next uh, the next part of it is to insert the uh, website which is this this piece of code here and then also the product rating so what you can do is if you go to the footer then you can insert your product rating code which is there. Now all you need to do is just change, I'll make it clear obviously in the blog, uh, is you just change what your products are, you change the review, you change the rating, uh, so that can go straight in there. Let's see, as you can see the rating, you can see basically all of that, the count, then that one stops, and then the second piece that you put in is this thing up here. Now this is the website name, Thing, and it's just giving you the uh, the name of the website. That's our name, Small Business Web Design Auckland. And then you can also put in the alternative name. So a lot of people do that. Um, I think if I go back to uh, where are these guys? So this guy is Gravitate. Um, okay, they've just got their name as Gravitate. If I go to these guys. Um, Okay, no, actually they don't have it. But anyway, I mean it's quite a useful one to have. It just makes it more, it just makes it clearer. Um, it just makes it clearer exactly who we are. So let me show you there. So, oh, so that goes, you just paste this code here, the website alternative name one, straight down, straight down to here. So the website name, Small business, small designs, blah blah blah. So that's more or less it. So you push save, and you push publish, and you click on that, and you can see uh, the code showing up there. So you can't obviously see the rating code, and you can't see the um, like the business name, the website thing, which which has the name and stuff, but you can see. But you can see the rest now. Google likes websites which obviously show like a phone number, show it, uh, show an address, uh, just makes it more localized. So what you can do is just like plug it in and say, yeah, 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 we, you know, at this address or that address. But the reality is, you need to be, um, you need to be a lot more sort of smart, like a lot smarter with that. So that's the tutorial there. If you have any questions, just. Uh, let us know, we'll answer them below, and uh, yeah, you can just use that code and modify it to suit you, and then you're away. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.